all work without raising taxes. When we, when we talked about the security issue, this was something that was brought to us by you guys, by concerned parents, regarding what needed to be done. We probably, as a district, spend more on security now than most. We have in-house officers with, with firearms in our buildings. Most districts do not do that. There is a large budget, a half a million dollars we put towards security just alone on those guys, not alone the rest of the staff that's in our district. So to say that we don't already have that in our budget, we do. What we were trying to address is a question of security for the rest of our um, requests from our parents. We wanted this, we wanted that, we wanted this. When you start thinking about those things, they are permanent expenditures that people want. Staffing, psychologists, more principals, all these things add up to long-term fixed costs. And in order to do that, there's only one way to do it, and that's to increase your revenues. So that's why there was you know, questions about what can we do. I didn't want to be the one to sit here and say, I don't want to secure your child any more than I can afford to today. So let's ask the voters, how, how do you want to handle it? And that's why the referendum went out. So uh, I hope that helps clarify some of your questions.